right now see uh, and also here uh, another uh, three methods sir we are going to discuss uh, different methods are there if it is in the form of okay for example given integral in the form of given integral in the form of first one is integral uh, dx by a quadratic expression ax square plus bx plus c so this is uh, first one and the second one is integral dx by integral the given integral in the form of square root of ax square quadratic expression square root of quadratic expression let's say right and uh, the third one is your px plus q by square root of ax square plus bx bx plus c and uh, uh, they deleted a uh, few methods uh, the last year or this year also but i am going to write all the methods here px plus q this is types different types are there here okay ma so px plus q by uh, ax square plus dx plus c dx okay right so with without square root with square root and the last one is okay so once in strength or uh, once you can see that uh, these formulas yeah yeah they would fine strains uh right is it clear these are the methods so uh, these are the actually very important for a uh, je mains level this concept especially the last one this is very very lengthy like integral of uh, px plus q into root over ax square plus bx plus c into dx so these are the different types will be there uh this is type 1 this is second type third type fourth type fifth type okay All right these are the different types to do first one is these are the formulas standard integrations okay with the square root we don't get any 1 by a 1 by 2 a without the square root we'll get 1 by 2 a or 1 by a. you have to remember okay and logarithmic so how to remember with square root with it, it can be very easy to remember uh, look here students your uh, right if it is plus uh, sir, it to to sir. yeah for the methods methods okay methods 1 by quadratic expression 1 by square root of quadratic expression linear expression by quadratic expression so linear expression by quadratic expression without square root linear expression into square root of quadratic but uh, don't take here without square root px plus q into ax square plus bx plus c becomes fifth so fourth degree sorry cubic equation not in standard form so with the square root only we can take so in all this uh, method mostly we can write like this whenever it is uh, related to linear and quadratic expression we will write px plus q is equal to a into d by dx of the quadratic expression ax square plus bx plus c plus b okay students so this is very important so uh, type 3 type 4 type 5 can be solved by using this uh, method this is the condition with help of this condition only we will get the answer for this actually this might be this question type 5 and type 4 type 
it may be take uh, two two pages to solve the questions especially type 5 is very very lengthy but there are the shortcut methods if there but it is very difficult to remember anyhow this is for uh, uh, objective purpose uh, in ncert i think so they deleted this okay anyhow uh, these are the very important formulas uh, let's see here uh, i'm going to change the given integrand in any one of the standard integration like any one of this formula okay students uh, see here by with uh, by seeing the question itself we can say that which formula we can apply here so here without square root without square root is there any plus or minus in between these two without square root there is no minus in between so we can apply for this question we are going to get the answer is like last one without square root and plus will be there in between variable and constant so we may get answer in terms of tan inverse and second one square root is there but in between there is no negative both will be plus what is the answer we may get answer we will get this one third one square root but in between variable and constant plus is there the answer we are going to get log of this like this okay log of this let's see and the next step third question third question also just you have to observe between between this is variable this is constant plus is there again here also we are going to get answer like uh, uh, log of this third formula answer in terms of log yeah this one this one see here first constant next variable first constant next variable so square root also there the answer we are going to get the answer we are going to get the first one constant minus variable square root is there the answer we are going to get in terms of sin inverse you can say directly see first constant next variable uh, and square root first one sin inverse of something will get the answer for this between these two no square root and plus is there the answer we will get in terms of tan inverse see tan inverse and next question yeah minus will be there first constant next variable without square root without square root first constant next variable the answer answer yeah first constant we are getting we are getting or a, a number four is that alpha or a yes before not okay. alpha it is a here a value is one one can be written as one square so a Number represents two. the constant yes a is a constant here x alone a variable a is a constant just i am giving idea because uh, this these are the questions very difficult the uh, most of the students they felt like difficult they don't know uh, we, we can change it to which form and what is the answer we are going to get many of the students the same questions they asked many times in previous year so that i am telling you the shortcut but once you have to observe that whether is there any square root or without square root if it is not square root first was constant is there or variable is there and after that in between constant and variable is there any plus is there or minus is there that you have to observe yeah in this question first square root is there and variable minus 1 okay numerator uh, here between plus is there okay plus square root and plus so that we are going to get use third formula square root and uh, in between variable and constant plus is there the answer will be log here also plus is there in between these two so like that we can easily identify so not in standard form these are all not in standard form what are the standard form if we want to change the standard form here we required only x square is there an x in all these formulas students observe here even these types also in all these types all this type we can change it to all this type in the standard forms the question may be like this we can change it to standard form means any one of this uh, standard form is every standard form observe that there is a x square there is no x variable there is a x square there is no x variable nothing but this quadratic expressions you can change it to completing square okay see here uh, this question you can change it to completing square we don't want to x here here x is there there is no formula x is there no formula x is there no formula multiplier x is there no formula no formula 
it is okay somewhat standard form it is no formula so this this and all we can convert it into standard form okay like uh, see here for example uh, how can we change the standard form it is easy i'll tell you for example you can let us take this quadratic expression alone you can take quadratic expression x square plus 2x plus 2 here x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 1 right shall i write like this yeah see here x plus 1 the whole square plus 1 see here it is a standard form there is no x variable don't expand that don't expand that so it you can consider that x square alone so 1 by square root of x plus 1 the whole square plus 1 one can be written as one square it is in the form of it is in the form of third one third standard form right square root is there in between plus is there a value is 1 so it can be written as it can be written as answer can be written as log of something just i'm giving idea before starting the exercise how can we identify Uh, the question which is related to the formula first we have to remember these six formulas without square root with square root okay so there are a formula which is related to logarithmic four formulas are there another one is sin inverse then tan inverse remaining in all the outputs we having log log if you remember sin inverse tan inverse remaining under log so without to square root we'll get 1 by 2a or 1 by a but with to square root we don't get any 1 by a 1 by 2a like that clear students so like that very important formulas first don't be confusing right fine let's see the questions question number 1 so yeah second you know the last formula that you written on the slide yeah that the formula is uh just simply remember here the formula same formula i will write here uh linear expression is equal to a into d by dx into a quadratic expression uh plus b plus b you can take yeah the either you can remember this one or else simply you can remember linear expression is equal to linear expression may be in uh, uh yeah px plus q is a linear expression is equal to a into d by dx of quadratic expression plus b that's all so the capital b is constant sir yeah capital a and capital b are constant okay sir okay capital a and capital b are constant here so enter this condition x is the only variable remaining all are constants okay p is constant q is constant a b c are constant okay students only right let's see now now exercise 7.4 fine what is the question number 1 see here all the questions are not in standard form first we have to write in standard form okay uh, here uh, the integral which is belongs to second term am i right second term means subjective is there descriptive is there both will be there so that i am telling you that uh, you have to write the proper steps like this in like uh, descriptive but coming to term 1 mcqs are there okay uh, you have to more practice mcqs which is related to term 1 okay here um, right first one first one is i is equal to integral so what is the question number 3x square by x power 6 plus 1 into dx let us take this is one i am going to explain you i am going to write all the steps properly here clear remaining steps you have to do it right see here i is equal sorry i is equal to integral of 3x square pi shall i write this x power 6 as c 
in every standard form, whatever the formulas I have given, in that clearly we have the x square, x power 6 is there. So shall I write this value as x cubed all square? All square. Don't write x square whole cube. For whole cube, there is no formula. For whole square only, we are having formula, right? Then x cube whole square plus 1 into dx, right, students? Now, this is let us take equation 1. It's better. Now, substitution method. So, what shall we substitute here? Let us take this x cube is equal to t. x cube is equal to t. Differentiate x cube is 3x square into dx is equal to dt so here itself differentiate you should write differentiate with respect to x on both sides so see your students so what do you observe here this will becomes 3x square dx in numerator this numerator becomes a dt this x cube becomes a t from 1 i is equal to integral over dt by t square plus 1. Yes, Kishore. Uh, why do we have to substitute? Can't we apply the formula directly? No, we can't apply the formula. What is the formula here actually? The formula is 1 by numerator must be 1 in all the standard form. Is there we having any 1? No. See, students, all the six formulas, remember that numerator must be 1. But is here numerator 1? No. The numerator is 6x, 3x square. Here is numerator is 3x square. We cannot apply. So now, so I have taken x cube is equal to t. So 3x square dx becomes a dt. I have substituted here. Now, clearly it is in standard form. What is the standard form? It is in the form of 1 by x square plus a square dx. What is the formula, students? 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. Am I right? What is the a value? 1. Shall I write this is equal to 1 by 1. A value is clearly here 1. Tan inverse of t by 1 plus c. When you apply the formula, you can write. At last, what is t value? Ma? t value you have to replace. So, i is equal to tan inverse of x cube. I clearly just now I explained you. So, here uh, it is a function. There is no square root. And in between variable and constant, there is a plus. The output must be tan inverse. See here, we got the answer in terms of tan inverse. So, what do you observe finally? You must be remember the formulas. Uh, logically, you have to remember. If I had... You know, surely you'll be forget. With square root, without square root. Okay, right? Many times I repeated, right? So this is the answer. Yes. Clear? Understood, students? Yes. Can you slightly zoom out, sir? The whole sum, sir. Awesome, right. This one? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, fine. So it is this is okay, right. Let's see. Okay, ma. Right. Next one is second one. Second one. Uh, can you expect the answer, ma? What is the answer we may get? Yes. Square so, root log of. Yeah. See this kind of question uh, to get more number of steps. A uh, second one is. Okay. Sir, can you show the previous question, sir? Yeah. Okay. 
previous question. Okay. This is the previous question. Okay, sir. Yeah. Yes, student, is it possible for you tomorrow class, like uh, tomorrow evening? Any possibility is there? Sir, OBT, sir. Yeah, OBT. Okay. Because, uh, so we have an advanced class in the morning. Uh, I'm only taking uh, applications of derivative. If possible, all JE students can attend the class. Tomorrow, JE advanced at 9.32 till 11.30. OK. In the evening, uh, 5 o'clock, I'll be. Okay, you can check in your classroom. Uh, if I, I'll inform you. If it's WhatsApp through WhatsApp, it is an number. Okay, ma. Next question. One by root over one plus four x square. That's it. See here, square root, and there is a formula here. One plus in square root. The formula is one by it is in the form of root over a square plus x square is dx. It is equal to what log of log of x plus root over a square plus x square. We can write directly answer here if it is a MCQ question. See here, I want to write this one as like a 1 by square root of 1 plus shall I write here? Two x. Do we need to know the derivations of these formulas? Derivation? Of the formulas that you gave us. Yeah, because you know, uh, it's, see actually these are the different uh, concepts like uh, uh, these are the formulas I have I didn't given in derivatives. The derivative of log actually this is equal to sine h inverse. We can write in two ways. Sine h inverse one by uh, a sine h inverse of x by a. Actually, this is formula is sine h inverse of x by a. But uh, I'm not given because in textbook they have given uh, in log. In terms of log, so that I did not give another formula that uh, uh, is important for OBT. If you differentiate this log of x plus root over a square plus x square, you are going to get 1 by root over a square plus x square. You can try this. So now, can anyone tell that what is a and what is x here? If we compare here, a is equal to what? a value is 1, 1 square. And uh, x value is 2x is that just a replace here. So the answer here directly log 2x in place of x, you can replace 2x. So root over same value 1 plus 4x square. 2x is the whole square means 4x square only. This is the answer. But the thing is, you have to remember, student, if you want to do directly, what is the x square coefficient of my year? In formula, x square coefficient, x coefficient x coefficient is what 1 actually here we need to write all divided by 1 okay 1 not not required not necessary to write by 1 it is clearly same value but here what is the x coefficient here anyone 2 so you must write all divided by 2 this is the correct answer you must write all divided by 2 because x coefficient is 2 otherwise in ncrt what shall we do after writing? Let us take this is equation one, substitution method. So what shall we substitute here? 
let us take that 2x is equal to t 2x is equal to t differentiate on both side so 2 into dx is equal to dt which implies dx is equal to dt by 2 see already we got by 2 by 2 this is the by 2 so when i substitute these values in equation 1 i becomes integral of 1 by square root of 1 plus t square into dt by 2 dt by 2 this is equal to 1 by 2 times of 1 by square root of 1 plus t square into dt so now right yes friends now what is the formula 1 by 2 times of log t plus square root of 1 plus t square now at last you have to replace t value t value is what 2x so in that case also we got same answer 2x plus root over 1 plus 2x whole square that is nothing but 4x square plus see we got the same answer in both the cases this is the required answer Students understood? Sir, first method unknown once can you see, sir? This is method one. Method one will write, uh, we can apply directly formula. So, 4x square is there. You must be right only like uh, 2x whole square. Okay. Right, 2x whole square and consider this 2x as x directly. 1 as a a square so it is in the form of a square plus x square the formula is log of x plus in place of x 2x is there so 2x plus root over uh, a square means 1 square is 1 2x whole square is again 4x square in the square root you can write whatever the value they have given simply it is log of that x value extra is so it is very easy to write the answer for example I'm going to give you another example uh, myself. So look at here. The question is they may have like this. For example, integral 1 by square root of 25. Yeah. 25 plus, for example, 16 x square is there. What is the answer, students? 25 can be written as 5 square, 16 can be written as 4x to the whole square into dx the answer is simple log okay plus what is the question they have given right to square root of that 25 plus 16x square only the thing is this 4x you can write here that's all you understood but all divided by all divided by 4x coefficient this is the answer okay sorry you can start it look why not? Uh, first method. Method one. Huh? Thank you. Till what time? Class 12. Alone 50. Yeah. I think till 11.50 alone, the class. Am I right? Okay, let's let's do one more question. Within two minutes, I can explain it. Yeah, what is the answer? Can anyone tell that here? We can write directly answer here. Log of square root. It is in the form of third formula what is the formula same students same students square root of you can write as it is 2 minus x to the whole square plus 1 just now whatever the formula is method yeah uh, shouldn't we uh, t is equal to 2 minus x yes yes see if it is a mcq's question we no need to take t and all what i'm saying how to write direct answer 
in mcqs how to identify the correct answer in mcqs simple students same but here whatever the value is there in place of x that value you have to replace 2 minus x that's all this is the answer but all divided by what is the x coefficient that is very important what is the x coefficient here minus minus 1 okay minus log of this value it is the answer but generally what shall we do this 2 minus x is equal to you can consider as t then find dx and do everything you will get the answer this you can try question number two but uh, yeah question number four is there i'm going to write direct answer here first you should write in standard form nine is there nine can be written as three square this is a square minus x square nothing but 25 can be written as 5x the whole square am i right nine i have written three square 25x square, I have written 5x the whole square into dx. So, this is it is in the form of a square minus x square. What is the formula? First formula. What is the first formula? Sine inverse of x. Yes, sine inverse of x by a. What is sine inverse of what is x? 5x. What is a? 3. But what is x coefficient finally? 5. At last, all divided by 5. That's it. Answer. This is the answer in one step, right? But see here, all power 4, not in standard form. All power 6, not in standard form. All power 6, not in standard form. Okay, these cases, these cases, first we can make them to standard form by substitution method. By substitution method means how to substitute, what to do. I'll give some ideas to him. So what shall we substitute here? Then I'll give some idea. Then you can do it these are the very easy see here, here this x power 4 first we can write x square the whole square now this x square you can take as t you'll get direct answer you can try this question students you can try and this x power 6 is there x power 6 you can write as x cube whole square now you can take x cube is equal to t you'll get very easily answer you'll get the standard form and in this case okay in this case you can write x by square root this i can explain you minus 1 by square root of x square minus 1. Second one is directly standard form. First one we need to find. And in this question, not in standard form, x power 6 is there. This x power 6, you can write same x cube whole square. Then x cube is equal to t. Understood? OK. Nothing but if you are not understand this, very simple, I can tell you. So you may not be know sometimes, OK, x power 4, we can write as x square whole square. This case is. We require standard form now. So x power 4 directly can take as t square. This x power 4 directly can take as t square. x power 6 is equal to t square. Nothing but x cube is equal to t square. And here x power 6 you can take as t square. Because you know in all the standard form x square is there. So here t square. T already square is there. So that simply you can take tan x is equal to t. Then Differentiate here secant square x dx is equal to dt. Nothing but neutral numerator becomes a dt. So dt by square root of t square plus 2 square. This is equal to 1 by 2 times of tan inverse of t by 2. This is the answer, okay, uh, that I can explain you. Uh, what I'm telling you can change it to standard form by using substitution. So that I, I told you that 60 percent, 60 to 70 percent of the question based on substitution. Here also, we are uh, taking some value as t, substituting some value. Okay, students. So later on, uh, the remaining question, these are the lengthy, but we can change it to standard form by with help of completing square. Very lengthy question is 15th one, I think so. Uh, some questions are the lengthy, right? Okay, students. Uh,